the big lie of astrology. People who believe in astrology around the world are spending millions of dollars to predict the future and to analyze the personality. But what is astrology? Astrology is defined as it's a relationship between astronomical phenomena and some events in a human world. Others believe that astrology most often consists of a system of horoscopes. A horoscope is a chart or diagram representing the positions of the sun, moon, planets, the astrological aspects, and sensitive angles at the time of an event such as the moment of a person's birth. The nearest star to Earth is about four light years. It means the outgoing light from that star takes four light years to reach Earth, which is 10 million million kilometers. The question, is it a realistic thought that there is a possible effect for that star in spite of this huge distance? Astrologists are trying to make people believe that they speak scientifically, but in fact, they not. But people are losing much money and became depressed because of those astrologists. Galaxy Andromeda, or M31, is the nearest galaxy to our planet. It is 2.25 million light year far from Earth. How can a star in a galaxy contains 100,000 million star affects the destiny of a man on Earth? Now, nowadays, the scientists discovered that the farthest galaxy from Earth is 20,000 million light years, and that galaxy contains more than 100,000 million stars. The scientists used the latest technology to discover that galaxy. Is it rational to believe that a star in that galaxy might affect our life on Earth? Difficulty Humans can see the light of these stars, so how can we get affected by the movement of these stars? The Prophetic Miracle Prophet Muhammad وسلم, came in a time when people used to believe in myths and legends. At that time, astrologists were like information agencies as what they say was reliable and trusted. The Prophet وسلم, corrected all wrong thoughts and beliefs when he said about astrology. Anyone comes to an astrologist and believe in what he says. Allah Almighty will not accept his prayers for 40 days. Here, we have to think and believe that if Muhammad وسلم, is a prophet from Allah Almighty, he would accept what his people do and agree them in what they believe about astrology. Allah Almighty says, Say, O Muhammad, I don't tell you that with me are the treasures of Allah, nor that I know the unseen, nor I tell you that I am an angel. I but follow what is revealed to me by inspiration. Say, are the blind and the one who sees equal? Will you not then take thought? Surah Al An'am, verse 50. Astrology and mental illness Islam prohibits any non-scientific predictions like astrology. He the Almighty says, Allah will not leave the believers in the state in which you are now until he distinguishes the wicked from the good. Nor will Allah disclose to you the secrets of the ghaib unseen. But Allah chooses of his messengers whom he pleases. So believe in Allah and His messengers, and if you believe and fear Allah, then for you there is a great reward. Surah Al-Imran, verse 179 Scientists prove that astrology causes many mental and psychological disorders to people who believe in it, as the one who believes in astrology. If expected events didn't happen, it drives him or her to depression and serious psychological diseases. Conclusion 
Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wants us to build our beliefs on a scientific basis, not on myths and legends. So he told the believers, anyone who goes to an astrologist and believe in what he says. So he became a disbeliever by the message of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, religion of Islam, narrated by Ahmed. Allah Almighty alerts us that we have to be attention by what our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says by saying, Verily, there has come unto you a messenger, Muhammad, from amongst yourselves, i.e. whom you know well. It grieves him that you should receive any injury or difficulty. He, Muhammad, is anxious over you to be rightly guided, to repent to Allah and beg him to pardon and forgive your sins in order that you may enter paradise and be saved from the punishment of the hellfire. For the believers, he is full of pity, kind and merciful. Surah at tawbah verse 128. In another verse, he Almighty tells us that he ordered his prophet to tell people that the prophet himself doesn't know the future by saying, Say, O Muhammad, I possess no power of benefit or hurt to myself except as Allah wills. If I had the knowledge of the ghaib unseen, I should have secured for myself an abundance of wealth, and no evil should have touched me. I am but a warner and a bringer of glad tidings unto people who believe. Surah Al-Araf, verse 188. Finally, people should know that our destiny is between the hands of Allah Almighty, who is the only one who knows the unseen. We have to remember the holy verse, and with him are the keys of the ghaib, all that is hidden, none knows them but he, and he knows whatever there is in or on the earth and in the sea, not a leaf falls but he knows it. There is not a grain in the darkness of the earth, nor anything fresh or dry, but is written in a clear record. Surah Al-An'am, verse 59. عملت لحلم عملت كثيرا وها قد حصل سهرت تعبت وقد طب ذا اليوم حلم السماء عملت لحلم عملت كثيرا وها